Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back doing a video with you all. And today I'm going to be going over what I have in my Lexington cart. This cart is from Michaels. I will leave all the information for it down below. Y'all, these carts have many uses. You don't have to use them just for crafting items. You can use them for um, like your bedside type of cart for you to put your essential items in that you need. Especially if you have any medical needs, this is great for that. If you have a young child or like a newborn, a baby, young baby, you can put their items into this cart and be able to roll it around room to room with you. Whatever the case is, there are multi uses for this cart. So if you like to see what I have in my messy planner cart, because that's what I use it for, then please stay tuned. So we're going to start with this top row up here, and I apologize if the camera is a little shaky. I have it on a tripod, but my hand's still shaking sometimes so um this top row i have just some stickers and some essentials that i need for a filming video so first thing i have here is just some of this suave lotion and i just like to have this on hand um just to put on my hands so they're not ashy for videos and stuff like that and up here i also have just a mirror so i could check myself out and make sure i'm not looking too crazy before a video i have up here some of this bath and body works um, I think it's just a body cream. This is an old one, but I have it up here as extra in case I need it. Um, up here I also have, let's see, we'll get into the stickers in a second. Let's see what else I have up here. I thought I had more lotion. Here we go. So I have some of this uh, French lavender and honey lotion right here. And this is uh, from Bath & Body Works. The stuff that I need to use up, I have right here as far as the lotions are concerned. And my little... Um, my little cup right here this is actually from the dollar tree this cup i keep in here some chapstick and scissors i um, have like a stylus pen i have my cutting tools this is a memory keeper cutting tool i have my little uh tweezers some white out i believe a pencil that kind of stuff so now that that kind of stuff is over with I think I want to start on this side over here and show you all what i have going on a extra mini little um what do they call these? Micro Notes by Happy Planner. I used to keep this in my purse, but now I just have it on this cart because I have a personal planner now in my purse. I have a cutout from Goldmine and Coco. I laminated this from their um, one of their orders that I received. This was the envelope of the order, so I cut it out and I laminated it. And I want to keep it for something that I want to do in the future. The devotional that I'm using is Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. So I like this devotional pretty good. Um, you can check it out online. I have in here some stickers. So I like to keep my stickers in photo albums. So they're just in there like that. I have a ton of stickers from Goldmine and Coco. And there's another photo album full of stickers. Um, these are just extra sheets that stickers were on at one point. I use these to pre-plan. So that pretty much means that I pull stickers from these books or um, from other sticker uh, packages that I have and I put them on one of these all together just so it doesn't take me forever to record a planner video when I'm doing that. So I have some Happy Planner sticker books. These are uh, $19.99. They retail for that. Um, I've never paid a full $20 for a sticker book. I've always gotten them on a deal of some sort or had coupons, that kind of thing. But I haven't purchased one of these in a long time. Um, I don't plan on buying any more Happy Planner sticker books. Um, just a personal decision of mine. Um, I have like a budget book. I'm just flipping through all the books that I have. A lot of these are just so old. They're the old books. And then I have an Aaron Condren uh, seasonal sticker book here that's old as well. I have a Happy Planner sticker storage book that has even more stickers in it. I have just some coloring books back here. A uh, folder with some documents in it and more coloring books. And a, um, what do you call this? A uh, clipboard. <laughs> I couldn't think of what you call it. A clipboard. Uh, I was working on that recently. It's a color by number. Got that from Dollar Tree. So... I'm gonna push that all back. It still looks a hot mess, honestly, just because everything is different shapes and sizes and they kind of don't all go together. But either way, it don't really matter, honestly. I have some gum in here. I like to chew that gum. I got it from the Dollar Tree. I have here a uh, tape runner. I have some new sticker books. I haven't even opened these up yet, y'all. Haven't used them. So these are from uh, Capital Chic from Michaels. And y'all can check online and see if there's any more of those products available. But I have all of those. 
I have some list pads. This is from Goldmine and Coco, this list pad. And then I have one from Ray Dunn. Um, some clearance items that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby, which Hobby Lobby is not getting any more of my money. But and I have some stuff from Michael's, just the various stickers, y'all. Y'all know I was like the sticker queen at one point. I used to always buy stickers, but not so much, uh, I would say, the last two years. Kind of cut back a lot on it, so... These are just the ones that I have remaining as far as Happy Planner is concerned. So I don't don't have as much as, you know, other people have. Some people have every sticker book ever made. That was never going to be me. Let's just say that. Okay. For the top row, uh, going down to the second row, um, I have miscellaneous items in here. It doesn't really have any rhyme or reason to it. Um, here is a planner that I'm not using right now. Luckily, it's undated, so I can pick it back up whenever I want to or save it for another year. But I was tracking my food in here. And um, I started back tracking it on my fitness plan my fitness pal, so there's no need to do it in a paper planner. Um, and plus, it just got to the point where I wasn't doing it. Um, I would, you know, write down stuff like in the notes section of my phone, but I wouldn't transfer it to the planner. So it became pointless, and I started doing the my fitness pal thing, and that works out a lot better. Um, obviously, because I can track for sure the calorie intake a lot better than just doing it by hand. I'm not the best at that. So I love that MyFitnessPal has a feature where you can just scan it and it, um, you know, is able to check the calories for you. So I also have in here just some pencil pouches. And then let's bring this a little bit closer. I have a journal here. This is like a traveler's notebook style journal. It's one of my favorite ones. I love how it's made. And I actually got this from AC Moore, unfortunately. We don't have AC more anymore, so that's unfortunate. Um, another planner, I got this one from Walmart. And obviously, I kind of made up the cover myself. And then here is my notebook. This is what I was originally doing my daily devotionals in until I switched to planner form. Um, right here, I just have some miscellaneous um, coloring devices like markers and coloring pencils, things like that. And then let's kind of turn this around so I can show you all what is back here. I have a box over here for donations so when everything is not how it is i'll be able to take some stuff that i'm donating out to the goodwill and this thing is actually kind of hard to turn with one hand i didn't mention it though but this is um you assemble it yourself it's very easy to assemble honestly you can get it done in probably about five or ten minutes so um one thing i didn't mention as well these little buckets this one came from dollar tree they came in like a three pack for a dollar bucket you probably remember it from a valentine's video last year uh, from walmart i did some valentine gift ideas and this was in there so i just repurposed it and this one is for paint brushes because i do like to paint here and there i like to paint little things that i get from the dollar tree and you know stuff like that down here i think i was actually gifted this this is supposed to be like a chalkboard thing i used to have it hanging on this cart but it fell off and i couldn't really get it to stay on there what else do i have on here random stuff oh some neon crayons so i have those down there i think i did like a community post about those and how uh they didn't really look very neon so this is uh dusty for one it's kind of dusty but this is a um one of those clear organizers from the dollar tree and people were last year they were customizing these and sending friend mail in them i thought that was a great idea i wanted to get into that at one point but i just didn't have a time have the time and i was kind of over it so i painted this one myself and i put like some um it wasn't even last year it was the year before last i put some of these pearl stickers on there but in here i like to keep if i can open it my disc for happy planner so uh, when you purchase a happy planner it comes with a plastic disc obviously you have the option of purchasing metal disc i like using only metal disc on my planners because if i'm putting it in my work bag or my purse lunch bag whatever the case is i don't want these discs to break because i'm kind of rough with stuff so i do have some plastic discs left over only because i like the colors of those but the rest of these are metal discs so i have them in the classic size I have them in many sizes. I also have them in the extender size. So I just like to keep those in there. I think it's a great way to store them. Let's put that to the side. And then right here, 
this is where I keep all of my cute little paper clips. This is probably my favorite little organizer. As you can see, this is how it comes in the store, so it's not painted or anything. So let's see if I can open this up for y'all. I'm just gonna show you what's going on in there. So that's where I keep all of my cute little paper clips, either ones that I made or purchased or even ones that y'all have gifted me over the years this is where i keep all the cute little ones that i have so i have a bunch of them um they're mainly great for if you were taking pictures for your instagram or uh, for your blogs of your planner like your planner layout these are just great props for that kind of thing i used to take a lot of pictures of my planner layouts i um, kind of gotten out of it i don't really do it anymore as far as taking the pictures but um, this is great for that. And plus, they're just cute. I, I used to make a lot of them on my channel as well. So those of y'all that have been watching me for a while, y'all have probably seen those videos. If not, I'll try and link some of my playlists down below so y'all can check those out. I have so many videos on my channel that, you know, it's plenty of stuff for y'all to watch. So I also have here some of these glitter crowns. I don't think I've tried these out. So I need to see how those glitter ones work out for me. So I'm just going to try and put all this stuff back down here for right now then we'll move on to the third layer all right so down here i just have a couple extra so um y'all saw me pick this up, up actually what about a month or so ago so these this is just a um a happy planner cover they had like a warehouse sale or something and they were selling these super cheap. These are normally like $30 and they were selling them for about four or five. So I got a white one. I thought it would be good to have white. I have some extra markers in here. And then I have, let's see, it was a planner, another one up here. I think it slid off. But these planners that I picked up from the Mighty Dollar, the undated ones, I'll probably give those away, um, you know, when everything calms down. I have an Agenda 52 punch, and this is for planners of various sizes. So you have one right there. Uh, Pocket Mini Personal A5, A6. Um, yeah, what is that? Personal Desk Facts. So you have all the different sizes. You can adjust them and punch them out as far as the sizes are concerned. I have a paper trimmer. And this is by Paper Studio. I love that paper trimmer. I have some uh, ink pads right here. And then this is what you use to clean your stamps off with. It's a stamp scrubber. And then right here, I just have some additional stickers and stencils. These are just random, like, loose leaf stickers, mainly from the Dollar Tree. So that is everything that I have on my messy planner card. Um, now that I'm doing this video, it's probably the motivation I need to finally organize it a little bit better, especially on the top side. Maybe go through and see if there's anything else that I can give away, possibly in a giveaway um, you know, later on in the year. I said I'll put all the information down below for this particular cart. They have them in different colors, so check that out. Of course, I got white because that's what I wanted for this room. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.